guys, it's Denma. Welcome to the Wolf Stand, and today is a sad, sad day. This is my reaction video for the very last episode of Once Upon a Time, which is season 7, episode 22. The soft reboot didn't work out, which I figured it wouldn't. I thought the end of season 6 was a perfect ending. They should have called it quits there. Um, I have reacted to part 1, and that should be out already. I've not seen it yet, obviously. I've got my tissue ready because my prediction is in order for Rumpel to get back to Belle, he's going to have to sacrifice himself. And I know Sean McGuire, aka Robin Hood, is supposed to be coming back, and he is dead. So I'm thinking that Regina is probably going to do the same thing. Somehow, um, I know Snow White and Charmy are coming back. In this episode, Belle is going to be back, obviously. Um, I don't know if she's going to come back to life or if she's they're just going to be together in the afterlife. Um, but I am not prepared. I started watching this like three or four years ago and I binge watched the first two seasons and have been obsessed with it ever since. I even have a Rumbell blog, but I, it's for all ships, but mostly Rumbell, which is Rumpel and Bell. And on season six, this finale, just to see them get their happy ending meant so much to me. And I, I don't know what else to say. Don't know what else to do. I, I really don't want to cry, but just thinking about how this is the very last episode ever hurt so bad. It's like it took me forever to watch the last Harry Potter movies, the, um, the one they split into two movies because I knew that was the end of the movies. But then they released like the Fantastic Beasts, so I still get to have the magic of the Harry Potter world. So with Eddie Redmayne, who plays NPC, jokes around with me, calls Eddie Redbone because I'm on a pony. <laughs> Yeah, but he's married now, I think, so I, I can do that. If you guys have seen this, definitely comment below. Out of the series finale, part one and two, what were your favorite moments? I'll try to give you mine afterwards if I can compose myself. And... Let's get to it. Okay, so they're in Storybrooke. Tilly and, um... We're out. Oh, the dwarf. Grumpy. And Doc and Sneezy. I tell ya, there's nothing like morning in story. Bro. I think. Oh, that's happy. Granny. Is that Archie? I saw the, I saw Pongo. Where's Pongo? Where's Archie? I love Archie. Oh, there's Archie. <laughs> Great, he's got a crossbow. So I wonder if Rumple, the good Rumple, is going to sacrifice himself. So wish hook. Look. New hook can be with Alice, aka Tilly. I don't like this evil Henry. It's not right. There's Robin Hood. So I think Robin Hood, Regina's love, may not be actually real, so to speak, but maybe he's her guiding light, guardian angel type of deal. Yep, and now she's back in a jail cell with whatever he gave her in his hand. A feather. Ooh, Maui's fish hook. 
Now, if only they would bring Moana or Maui in for this series finale, that would be awesome, other than just the fish hook. Since they did with Frozen, it's the Blue Fairy. That scene, ugh. Oh. Where is Gideon in all this? I know he's possibly in another realm, but he could be a really big help right now. Kill him as well. Ooh, like I said, he put his heart in hooks. So effectively killing the bad Rumpel still skin. Fixing Hook by sacrificing himself. Okay, so he's in a smoky, like purgatory type state after he sacrificed himself for everybody. Time jump. Tinkerbell. So she's brought all the realms to Storybrook. There's Lily or Maleficent, I don't know which one.
I'm so happy that Rubble and Bill ended up together, even though he had to sacrifice himself, which is the best thing he could have done because now New Hope can be with his daughter without having the heart issues. I'm so happy that Regina finally got her happy ending or her second chance. united at Regina as the good queen and seeing where that would have taken us. Maybe with some new characters or some background characters. Yeah, it's over with. It hurts. reminiscing over Once Upon a Time, and I think my favorite episode was Skin Deep, and my favorite moment was when Snow White was mayor 
and she just had the baby and she was down in the electrical plant trying to figure out how to turn, get the power back on or something like that with the fussy baby in one hand and the book manual in another and I just thought that that was just hilarious. But yeah, if you, um, if you know of any other fantasy shows kind of like this, put them down below because some of us might not know. Um, some good s series that might fill the void once upon a time, if you understand what I mean. I'm still ch I'm still cracking up. Um, my voice is cracking. Um, so basically, I've only got like a very, like Inhumans was canceled, so Exorcist was canceled, so I've got like, the only shows I have left that I watch are Ancient Aliens, Expedition Unknown, Ghost Adventures, Gotham, Shadowhunters, The Gifted, Runaways, American Gods, if that comes back, I think it's supposed to, and American Horror Story, if that comes back, I've not seen any teasers for that this year, but those are the, I, I try to watch all these CW comic book shows, but it's hard to keep up with them, especially when they do crossover. It's very somber, very sad. But hey. Like, comment below some of your favorite Once Upon a Time memories. And subscribe and join the pack. We would love to have you here. And remember, what Once Upon a Time has always taught us is to keep your hope alive. Even though the show may be gone, keep your hope in your heart alive. You never know, it might be revived. Some other channel might pick it up. They might do a spinoff, who knows. But yeah, keep it in your heart. And once upon a time, will never go away. And until next time, in the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye guys.